You see, Ethan? Would you tell a best friend that the mere sight of you made them feel sick? Would you, Ethan, tell your best friends that the suits he wears made you feel repulsed? Well, I'll tell you what, Ethan. These are my suits. I like wearing them. These people like me wearing them. And I ain't changing for absolutely nobody, especially not you. Ethan! Ethan! You call yourself a one percenter? Well, you can call me Misty 99% because you big nose douchebag. I don't need you anymore, and neither do any of these people! Bud, uh, just real quick, on a, on a personal level, I was there, I met you during British Boot Camp, and the reason you won British Boot Camp is because slowly but surely, you surprised everyone and you won everyone over. And the same thing seems to be happening here. So like everybody in here, I just want to tell you personally, man to man, I'm with Spud, all the way. Ladies oh, now we can sleep at night. Jeremy's with Spud all the way. That's great. How about you? No, I'm not with anyone. I'm not with Spud. I'm, I'll buy his shirt. I'm not with anybody. But here comes my man, EC3. I like EC3 better than Spud now. Spud aggravated me now. So you, you have to know EC3, he's not on board with this show of support for Rockstar Spud. Ethan Carter the third stands at the top of the ramp. And he is joined by Spud's replacement, that monstrous Tyrus. EC3 just, uh, just dressed to the nines, I'd like to say. Custom made velvet tuxedo, that is velvet when you, uh, velvet, uh, velvet. This is the most pathetic spectacle I have ever seen. In the vast landscape of loser after loser after loser after loser after loser after loser. I see you have appointed yourself a new fearless leader in Rockstar Spud. And JB, Jeremy Borash, how dare you take part in this? This, how dare you be the maestro of this miscarriage? You are TNA's most loyal employee. You owe everything to the Carters. Just like you, Rockstar Spud. You owe everything you have, everything you are, and everything you ever will be to me. Rockstar Spud, I will give you an opportunity as a professional courtesy to apologize to me right now. Rockstar Spud, apologize. Rockstar Spud, apologize. No! Yeah, this is, this is gonna be trouble right here for Spud. Rockstar Spud, apologize. I think you should apologize. Yeah, I think he all definitely right, should. All right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're a big-nosed douchebag. 
Oh, boy. Not exactly the apology that EC3 was looking for. I don't think you can say big nose on TV. I'm gonna rearrange your face before I end your career. And Jer Jeremy! That was the biggest mistake you could have ever made. Oh, oh come on. Well, he kind of, he should have put his hands on each Oh, Don't get out you of here. ever put your hands on a... Oh, whoa, look at Spud! I mean, you gotta give Spud credit. Look at the fight in Rockstar Spud. In spite of this huge size advantage for EC3 and Tyrus. Well, Spud's got heart for sure, but I think... Oh, uh oh Yeah, Spud's got heart. Whoa. And Spud's got backup in the form of Eric Young. Hey, remember Eric Young? He's the guy that recruited Rockstar Spud as his tag team partner for the number one contenders tag team tournament, and he's got Spud's back.